let's take a quick look at how we can change the styling of the page. We go to the style panel and then here let's look at the style sheets. And this is the freelancer CSS. Uh, but actually this thing comes with SAS source files. So let's go to manage and then here let's say use CSS, like that's a SAS format. And here we just point to the um, location of the main SAS file for the for this style sheet. And this is this one, freelancer. And we say use. And now Pangro loaded all the SAS files for this uh, style sheet. And we can go to variables. And here we find variables for primary color that we can now change. And Pinegrow knows how to compile SAS, so like as soon as we make a change, it is compiled. And then we save and export the page. So whenever we, we change styles like this, we have to save the page to save the generated CSS file. And then we have to do export the theme to actually copy these CSS files to the theme folder. So let's check. Yeah, here it is. So now we can also fix the uh, the case of titles in the footer. Let's go here. And in active style tab, we just go on advanced create rule. And we say, okay, we are interested in the footer H4. And we will select the location. Should be in the footer and create a new rule. And then here we will select uppercase. Save and export the theme. And reload here. And our titles are fixed. We can also change the fonts. So first let's go here to page, manage Google fonts. And we can see that like Montserrat is used um, for the headings. It's included on the page and then Lato as well. Let's add another one. This one looks interesting. And we can delete this one. And Alonica, we copy the family name on clipboard. And then we have to find the place where these fonts are defined. They're not in variables where usually there should be. But they are defined in mixins. So we have heading font, Montserrat. And we just edit. Paste the name, and here it is, our new fonts. And we save, export the page, reload here to check everything is okay. Yeah, perfect. So in this way, we created a fully featured WordPress theme for a simple portfolio website where basically all the content is editable and we can use post WordPress posts for projects so we can have as many as we want. And we also learned how to use SAS to change the styling of the page and Caldera forms to dynamically create fully featured forms. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and that you will enjoy creating WordPress teams with Pinegrove.